When it comes to sourcing for hot topics and highly engaging entertainment just in Nigeria, you can always count on us. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't, please go subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on the latest gist. Hmm, quite a statement from Regina Daniels to her king, who she called Solomon. Her statement triggered some questions among the public if there are similarities between Ned Nwoko and King Solomon, or is it because King Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines and Ned Nwoko is close to having that number? Is King Solomon Ned Nwoko's role model? How many wives and concubines does Ned Nwoko have? Does this mean that Regina Daniel is proud her husband has so many wives and concubines? Keep watching, as all these and many more will be covered in this video. Regina Daniels, a Nollywood actress, has taken to social media to celebrate Ned Uwoko, her husband, as he clocks 60. In an Instagram post on Monday, the 20-year-old movie star shared a compilation of pictures of her politician husband, herself and their baby having a great time together and it was a day for celebrations as the youngest wife and gorgeous Nollywood actress Regina Daniels took to her social media handles to pour out her heart. With music in the background telling how he controls her anxiety and makes her touch the ceiling since he met him, she runs her fans through pictures of their private moments together with a lovely caption accompanying the post. As the day goes by, it gladdens my heart to see how much of a potential leader you are. It's another year and would have wished for wisdom and riches but I just remembered you are synonymous to King Solomon. Happy birthday Lion King, to long life, good health, happiness and unity that befeeds a man of valor. I love you baby, she wrote. The lovebirds have continued to enjoy a blissful union since they got married in April 2019. They welcomed their first child together in June. But the nose is more like mine, isn't it? The nose is more pointed. But then the lips is mine. <laughs> In October 2019, Regina had opened up on her decision to marry Woko. She said her stubborn nature made it difficult for her to marry someone who is within her age bracket. Earlier this month, Woko had revealed that Daniels is aware of the fact that he can marry additional wives as a result of his desire to have more children. Now the question is, does Ned Woko really have any similarities with King Solomon? Ned Nwoko in an interview with BBC said he's open to taking another wife and all his wives are aware of this. Speaking about his marriage to his youngest wife Regina Daniels, Ned explained that he never knew Regina before marrying her and he married her within three weeks after their first meeting. The politician who has seven wives, actress Regina Daniels being the seventh, said he married all his wives within the same period after meeting them. He said he doesn't believe in dating and gets married to his wife shortly after meeting them. On how he met Regina Daniels, he said he met her when she came to his house with her mother and her siblings. He explained that his house is like a tourism attraction site in the state and is open to the public to view. When Regina came with her family to view his house, he said he saw her then for the first time, liked her and married her within three weeks. But before that, he said he never knew her because he doesn't watch movies. On taking another wife, Ned says the possibility and his wives are aware of this. He said, so whether I marry another wife or not, she knows it can happen. I come from a very polygamous environment. I love children, so I want more children and she knows this and my other wives also know it. With his response in the interview, do you see any similarities? Let us know in the comment section. 
Another interesting way to look at Reginald's statement is that since King Solomon has 300 wives and 700 concubines, then I could only wonder how many of Ned Nwoko's wives and concubines that we are yet to discover or how many he's still willing to marry because of his immense love for children. I could only imagine fans reacted in great number when she, Regina Daniels, said that her billionaire husband is synonymous with King Solomon of the Holy Bible. From the Bible, we already know that following the histories of men like Solomon was a man that loved women crazily and some persons believe also that that was what Regina Daniel meant. Solomon has 700 wives and 300 concubines. From Bible description, it implies that King Solomon was a lover of women and if she can describe him as King Solomon, it simply means that Ned Uwoko is a womanizer. <laughs> Well, maybe she made a mistake which she may later correct or really address. Okay, let's talk about what she meant when she described her husband as the biblical King Solomon. Is there something fishy going down? If you're thinking what you're thinking, then you might be wrong because Regina Daniels described her king as King Solomon, particularly for his wisdom and wealth, and not the other side everyone is thinking. As we all know, Regina Daniel is not his only wife and that he's open to marrying more wives. He's a man of wisdom. The way Ned Nwoko's life is making a wave in society these days, one might think he is the richest man in Nigeria. Ned Nwoko built a wondrous home on a large expanse of land in his native Idumeje Uboko, an Ochia North local government of Delta State. The eye-popping edifice, nicknamed Castle in the Air, is a combination of Arabian and Western designs, complemented with the royal traditional touch, which experts have described as a tourist destination. According to a reliable source, the home has a zoo with many species of wild and weird animals, including crocodiles, ostriches, horses, sea eagles, porcupines, monkeys, rabbits, amongst others. Another section of the land has fish ponds that have about 50,000 catfish and other species of fishes in them. Apart from these, the land also has a poultry section with about 5,000 chickens while another part of the land is filled with thousands of palm trees. Just behind the main castle is an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a lawn tennis court with a standard table tennis adjacent to it, estimated to be worth about 10 billion naira. The castle is situated 1,000 feet above sea level which makes it the highest point in Delta State. Aside from all these, Ned is a billionaire. He has a lavish lifestyle and seven wives. Ned spends lavishly on all of them, especially his seventh wife, Regina Daniels. Recently, he gifted her an expensive Rolex watch and a four-wheel bus, costing millions of naira. His lifestyle and publicity could make one believe he's the richest in Nigeria. Ned has a total net worth of $1.2 billion. Contrary to this belief, a critical comparison of Ned's net worth to some other Nigerians makes him look extremely poor. Here's a list of wealthy people that made Ned Nwoko look like a pauper. Aliko Dangote. He has a total net worth of $14.4 billion. Mike Adenuga has a total net worth of $9.9 .9 billion. Femi Otedola, his net worth is $1.85 billion. For Lurunsho Alakija, total net worth of $1.55 billion. When it comes to the wealth, he doesn't even level up the richest in our country, not to say being compared with King Solomon, whose utensils were made of gold The kings of nations came to his chamber to hear his wisdom. With this, I can say he's highly overrated. Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below. So why is he making so much buzz on the internet these days? In April 2019, Ned Wogo created history in Nigeria after he married his seventh wife, the 18 years old teenage Nollywood actress Regina Daniels, in a secret wedding ceremony attended by a few family members and friends. The news of his wedding to the teenage actress skyrocketed through the internet and became a piece of very trending news in Nigeria. His fame and popularity can only be traced to after his marriage to Regina Daniels. It seems like their marriage was beneficial to both of their careers. Regina's Nollywood career and Ned's political career which is a story for another day. But then, we can understand her statement was a depth of love and appreciation for our king. We wish Ned Nwoko a very blessed and successful new age. That's it for today's gist. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below your thoughts, give this a like, share with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more latest celebrity news from Niger Gist. Thank <laughs> you.